Hello and welcome to another size comparison from Killer Offroad Hobbies. This is going to be between the Techno MT410 and the Losi LST XXL2. Now, uh, these have kind of dramatic differences, but um, we'll, we'll go through that. This is a big 8th scale um, monster truck. And this is a 10th scale monster truck, if you want to call it that. Now, if you look at both of these, they're, uh, they're not that different in size. I mean, of course, the, the LST sits up a little bit higher, but not by a lot. It is a little bit longer wheelbase-wise a huge difference in wheelbase about I don't know three four inches probably um, the low C double XL weighs a lot more a whole lot more yeah the low C weighs a lot more probably two or three pounds more so uh, let's go through what what you get with these guys. So this is a one-tenth scale monster truck uh, that's got a slim aluminum plate chassis and this is a one-eighth scale monster truck that has kind of like a double decker aluminum plate chassis with a small twin vertical plate on the side. It's a really unique design like I've said before. Um, there's nothing else out there like it. But as far as like total size and everything, the size is going to be the LST for sure. Now, you know, it's, it's kind of not here nor there. Uh, the Techno MT is wider, but that could be contributed to the tires I have on it. You know, all of these different things will actually change the dimensions of your truck. You know, if you're running smaller tires, your truck's not going to be as wide or, you know, as long because the tires actually stick out past the bumper. So, I mean, it's just kind of all about what, how you set this up when you're building it as a kit. I got my hands on these uh, Duratrax lockup MTs that are just awesome. They do really good. They're huge. They have a nice offset wheel. I just, I really like them. Tires that come on this, as you can see, are slightly taller. They're about the same width, maybe just a little bit narrower, but they're, uh, I don't know, they're, they don't balloon as much, but they also don't get as good as traction. Uh, let's pop the shells off. That's one thing that you're going to notice right off the bat is the shell that comes on the LST is much much bigger look at that I mean it's gigantic it literally covers the front and rear bumper if you guys can see that no oh, it literally covers the bumpers that's how big it is compared to the body that fits on this nicely now I did uh, reinforce this body with a bed liner and a couple little uh, just this one spot with uh, shoe goo and drywall tape and it's been holding up very well but that is this is one of the things that makes the low C double XL so big is how huge the body is the body is like look at that the body is just gigantic and it has to be because the truck is really big but that's one of the things that makes it so huge now when you come to the Techno MT410 Look how ridiculous that body would look on there. See? It wouldn't be able to sit down at all. It doesn't fit over the shocks or anything like that. You know, and you can see the whole chassis underneath there. Let's uh, turn this guy. See how ridiculous that would look, guys? So, a lot of the LST's hugeness comes from the body, but the body has to be big because of the setup. Now, I did the same thing with this. I used uh, bed armor, and I went a little overboard with the shigu and drywall tape. I did the whole back of it and the whole front. 
It just, you know, it gives, it makes it really rigid, but it still has the flexibility in the thinner to twist and stuff instead of uh, cracking and breaking. And I really like to do it where the body posts go through because it reinforces that area and makes it a lot stronger, a lot more durable. But yeah, so that's the body, you know, completely done or whatever for the MT410. Now, chassis wise. Now both of these have a slender chassis. It's not a big wide chassis. But like I did say, this thing is kind of double decker. You know, it has the two layers. You got your steel plates down here, you know, and then all your uh, drivetrain is tucked in there. And then it's got your top plate that you mount, everything's mounted on. And it, if you could go as far to say as it's like triple, because it also has these two plates that are elevated that the, uh, that the shock towers and body posts sit on up here. So it's a really, really unique design. Now this thing is just basic, you know, super slim chassis. It's just one piece of aluminum that runs the whole length of the truck. And everything's just bolted to it on top of it from underneath. Really, really, really basic. You know, just like a like a buggy. It's just a straight up buggy chassis. Everything's countersunk and all that which is what gives this thing like how light it is now as far as this thing being temp scale I would say like this portion of it is is temp scale like the chassis the bumpers the shock towers I would say all that stuff's temp scale when you go to the shocks and the a arms and the hub carriers and steering blocks and all that stuff, that stuff is all 8th scale size. This stuff's all 10th scale, this stuff's all 8th scale size, which is why it is a huge 10th scale. You know, it's up there, it's probably bigger than the, uh, well, I, I don't know if it's bigger, but it's definitely easily probably the same size as like an E-Revo or a Summit, because there are 10th scales that are set up as basically a scale but you know that's kind of it you, you got a lot more weight with this thing you know the diffs on this are buggy style setup the diffs on this are big you know big old things that slide in from the front and from the rear uh like i said this thing does weigh a lot more this thing's got three uh the three diffs set up this thing's got a transmission with a slipper clutch you know they're just they're totally different but as far as size comparison the Losi double XL is is definitely bigger you know if we go from bumper to the very back of the tire since I took off the uh, wheelie bar you know it's not that much longer because the bumpers stick out relatively far on this thing you know it's only about two inches longer in total length but if you put the wheelie bar on here the wheelie bar is probably six inches so yeah i mean that's kind of a comparison here uh you know what i did do is uh put the body back on this guy But the low C double XL is called the double XL for a reason. It's huge. It's got a big body. It's got a nice wide stance and everything. It's it's a really big, really impressive RC. It's it's much bigger in life, you know, life size than you think it is. Like it's it's huge. This thing is is big too. It's big. It's wide. But but the low C double XL, you're gonna have a hard time finding an A scale. Or 10 scale that a huge 10 scale that's going to be bigger than the low C double XL. I think it's the biggest, if not one of the biggest. I think the the team associated rival might be almost as big as this thing or as big, 
but I can't think of an eighth scale that's actually bigger than this. Uh, even the Sin Colossus, the Sin Colossus was uh, was a really big A scale, but I'm pretty sure the Losi, while not taller than the Colossus, I'm pretty sure the Losi is all around bigger. Now what I did do, put that guy right there, is I did bring an actual tent scale out. Now you can see the difference right off the bat. Now this is the Vicar Bison. It is a 10 scale Truggy. And I think it falls well within the realm of 10 scale. It might even be a slightly bigger 10 scale. But you pull the cover off and look at that. It actually works. Like I said, the, the center chassis is 10 scale on this thing for sure. It's uh, the A arms and all that other stuff. Now, if you look at this, it's got a slightly wider chassis layout than the uh, than the Techno, but it's not much wider. But it's a lot lighter. This thing is way lighter than the Techno MT. But like that, see. And as far like wheel nut to wheel nut it's the same the it's got the it's got the same wheelbase on it the only difference is this thing is set up a arms and everything wise as a scale stuff and this thing is running your standard tent it's got the standard 10 scale tires on it 12 millimeter hex all that stuff so there you go guys uh, I hope that answered all your questions and everything uh, if you want me to do a different size comparison with any of the RCs I actually do have, uh, I would be happy to do so. Uh, if you like this video, please like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, now you guys can follow me on Instagram. I have an Instagram. If you go to my page, it's up on the top where the pictures are in the right hand corner. You can go ahead and click and follow me on Instagram so you can get Stuff that I'm not actually doing on my videos, like when I'm working on my RCs and stuff, taking pictures or whatever. But yeah, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Like, subscribe, thumbs up if you liked this video, thumbs down if you didn't. And stay tuned, we got a lot more coming at you. Killer Offroad Hobbies, guys. Peace.